As part of our 7-day train trip across America, we will spend the next 48 hours aboard the iconic Empire Builder Amtrak sleeper train. This is the busiest train we have seen so far in all of our trips. Taking us through 8 US states from Chicago to Seattle. In the last 4 days, we've spent 57 hours aboard trains, 30 hours on the Amtrak Crescent from New Orleans to New York. We're getting back on the train. and 27 hours on the Cardinal from New York to Chicago. One has been made with non-vegan ingredients, the other... As we embark on the final leg of our epic 5,000-mile train adventure across the U.S., we can't help but feel a surge of excitement. The Empire Builder, renowned for its scenic beauty, promises to be the highlight of our journey. And it begins here at Chicago's Union Station. No. Well, today, yes, but... Okay, well, just period. <laughs> Remember that if you book a roomette or a private room, you have access to the Amtrak Lounge, which we highly recommend you come in early to take advantage of the lounge. And uh, as in, in our case, there's no lounge on the train because it, uh, we board, it departs at 3 p.m. So we arrived early here and get some snacks. It's not something out of, the wor out of this world, but it's free lunch, basically. So if you can, arrive a bit earlier than what you had planned to take advantage of the Amtrak Lounge and John is going to give you a quick tour of the lounge right now. This lounge is quite nice. If you saw our New Orleans video, the Amtrak Lounge there was really tiny, really dated and the food selection was minimal. This one uh, is not as, as nice as the New York one, but it's really nice. I really like it. We're on the line to get on the train. Are you excited? Very excited. Okay, let's wait. We're really nervous because this is the longest train we've been in. 48 hours is a long time to be together in a I mean, closed space. And at the end of the 48 hours, we can either be like this or like this. This is the busiest train we have seen so far in all of our trips. Take a look. It's too, this bed is quite comfortable. First things first, let's do a quick roomette tour. We are in a super liner train on the second level. As you can see, we are higher up than on the other trains we've been so far. We have not been in a roomette with this particular design. The seats are, as you can see, super hey, wide. Hey, ladies so, ladies and gentlemen, this is Pastor Jen coming from Designer Car. My name is Arturo. I am. You might notice something different. This is flowers that. A couple of friends we just made on this trip gave us, so that's why they're here. We love them. As I was saying, the seats are wide and pretty comfortable. So the bottom bed, which I'm guessing and hoping will be mine for the trip, is going to be very comfortable. As you can see, the top bed is on the incline, so it does remove a pretty hefty amount of headspace this will come down at night, we'll show you. This cabin is pretty basic when it comes to controlling stuff. Basically, you have a reading light, room temperature, a single outlet, for and the, the same... For the whole room, man. Exactly. So you have to take turns charging your devices. And on the other side, basically the same thing, plus the push to call or pull to call, in this case, for the car attendant. A uh, couple of lights, 
and you control the air conditioning on this vent here by opening and closing and the thermostat is pretty basic cooler normal or warmer what about storage yes it's pretty minimal basically as you can see we only have two backpacks and this is the only surface you can put a backpack we're planning on putting mine inside the bed during the day so it goes all the way down here that way we have more space available during the day and uh, at night we'll just lay them on the floor here show us the closet the closet <laughs> is tiny so it's basically just for the coats and uh, we have a couple of eyeglasses in here and the face and hand towels so unless you have a very skinny backpack you'll be able to put it in the closet if it's overweight like ours you will have a pretty hard time finding a place for them but we'll make it work hi it's john so we're gonna hang out a little bit in our room while we wait for jorge who's in charge of dinner reservations to come to our roommate and takes our reservation for dinner tonight. In the meantime, we're going to enjoy these beautiful landscapes and drink some coffee. While we wait to make our dinner reservations, here's a fun fact for you. Someone to just told us this, so it has not been fact-checked at all. These roses come from a, an Amtrak owned farm in Colombia. They grow them in Colombia, ship them to China, and then ship them to the US where they use them on the trains. If you know anything about this, if it's completely made up, let us know in the comments. Just the two of us? All right. That's for dinner? Yeah. All right, we got, we got a... Uh... 645, 730, or 850. We'll do 645. As you know, we are newbies when it comes to riding trains, but we've been in five trains already, so we've picked up a few tricks to make our trips more comfortable. The first one I would say is to store everything away as soon as you can, so you have space to move around, store your luggage, your backpacks as best as you can, and take them out of the way. Second, get comfortable with your pants, your shirt, your shoes, whatever you want. I'm going to go into some uh, more comfortable pants and my flip-flops. Third, resolve any cracking noises, vibration noises in your cabin from the beginning to make your cabin a little bit more peaceful throughout your journey. Out of the five trains we've ridden so far, this is the first one with an observation deck and we're extremely excited for that feature. Unfortunately, right now it's full of people and it's getting darker, so we're gonna leave it for tomorrow. Also, we have to cancel our dinner reservation for 6.45 because our friends made reservation for the fall of us and the dinner is going to be at 7.30 so I guess we're going to see you at dinner. We just came back from our dinner and the experience was completely different from what we have experienced in the past with previous trains of Antrac. This was amazing. We have waiters and three courses menu. The food was delicious. It felt fresh. We really loved it. The views were amazing until it got dark. And we didn't film a lot of the dinner because we were with our new friends and we didn't want to interrupt the flow of the conversation. But Ari asked for the salad with brie cheese, the pasta primavera and the cheesecake. I asked a shrimp, also the steak and the cheesecake and everything was delicious, especially the shrimp. 
I mean, the experience was incredible. We really enjoy our dinner and we can't wait to keep eating in this train. Right now, we're going to get ready for bed. Good morning from somewhere in North Dakota. Uh, last night I disabled our regular 6 a.m. alarms only to have Johnson's FOMO because it has no window on the upper bunk wake me up at 6.14 a.m. this morning. So here we are. We are really excited about today. The views of the open fields have been gorgeous so far, but the views today are supposed to be breathtaking. And we are really excited about uh, going to the uh, sightseer car and uh, breakfast sounds amazing. So stay tuned. It's breakfast time. After that performance, there's just one thing to say. Wow, from the Empire Builder to the streets of Broadway. <laughs> We're on our way to have breakfast, we're starving, so let's see what we got for breakfast. We're already in the dining car and already ordered our breakfast. We're very excited for it and are hungry. And the menu is quite extensive for breakfast in this train. Right now, while we wait, we're enjoying the views. It's a little bit cloudy and we love cloudy days. So let's keep enjoying the views. Breakfast was really good. It felt fresh and recently made, which is not the case in the flexible dining menu on the other Amtrak trains we've ridden. This is the traditional dining menu. And for breakfast, we had to choose from continental breakfast, the signature railroad French toast, the three egg omelette, the scrambled eggs, which is what I had, and the breakfast quesadilla, which is what John had. And both were very good. Welcome to Minot, North Dakota. Hi. Oh, Hello. that's our friend. <laughs> we just got an insider tip from Turo. He said many people that come to Minot go to this little place to get coffee. Uh, she sells coffee and apparently they're good. And we decided why not? Let's experience the full Minot. Yeah. And also let's support the local businesses. Sadly, Closed Monday, May 6th. Today is Monday, May 6th. <sighs> now that we are in Minot and it's a, about a 45 minute uh, stop, I think it's a good time to recap our trip. As you know, we started in New Orleans and we boarded the Crescent train to New York City. Our stay in New Orleans was magical. It's, it was amazing. We really loved the French Quarter and the Canal Street, which is basically what we got to know from New Orleans because we only spent uh, one night there. Then we boarded the train to New York City. My favorite part was the, the beginning, actually. It was like the first 10 minutes. We went next to a large body of water. I'm not sure which body of water that, it, that is. If you know it, we're, go, we're yeah. showing it right now on the screen. Please let us know in the comments. What about your favorite then part? We, when we were on the train to New York City, I loved the North Carolina and South Carolina part. It was beautiful. I loved the green vegetation. It was magical. And when we got to New York City, we stayed in a small hotel. Yes. Like right in the middle of Manhattan, which was... Uh, Location was great. Yeah. Uh, it was our second time staying in the city, but the first time we stayed in a capsule hotel for another video on the channel. And this was the first time we stayed in a, like a real hotel in the city. 
which location wise it's excellent because if you're tired walking around you just pop into your hotel rest and then go out again uh, in past trips we stayed in upstate in yonkers yes, and uh, basically when you leave the house you just go to the city spend the whole day there and return at night doesn't matter if you're tired in the middle <laughs> of the day you have to just yes. grind then in new york the following day we boarded the yes, cardinal the cardinal to chicago uh, which was your favorite part well, in, the, in that train, I love the whole route. It was beautiful because New York, when you live in New York and you, you get to New Jersey, it's so nice. And when you arrive into Chicago, it's beautiful as well. So I enjoyed the whole trip. I really liked it. For and, me, my uh -huh. favorite uh, stretch was when we were traversing uh, West Virginia. Oh, Those yes. rivers and the mountains, you go through the mountains, you can see the rocks of the mountain. For me, that was like uh, the best part of the trip. Yes. Then we got beautiful. to Chicago. Honestly, we fell in love with Chicago. This was our, our second time in Chicago. The first time was in January of this year, 2024. And we really liked it. But this time, I think we fell in love with it. Yes. I think it was for so us clean. both, I mean, is, that, that we're talking about the downtown Chicago yeah. because we didn't get to explore the surroundings but the downtown was so clean so organized we felt so safe we walked a lot and we loved the food people were so friendly and we honestly had an amazing time the hotel where we stayed it was a Westin in Michigan Avenue and the hotel was great the room was amazing the view was lovely and we really enjoy our time in Chicago. I really liked Lake Michigan. For oh, me, yes. that was a magical experience. Well, it was mind blowing because it looked like a beach, yes. but it, it wasn't a beach. It was a, a, a lake. So it was incredible. We then, really love Chicago. The honestly. following day, we boarded the Empire Builder, which is yes. the train we're on right now. And how many hours have we been? Well, it's um, 9.30 and we left Chicago at 3 p.m. So let's say three, 19 hours already. 19 hours? Yes. Um, as you know, this train will take us to Seattle. Uh, we'll arrive in Seattle tomorrow. So we still have a whole day mm -hmm. left on board the train. So far, it's been also a magical uh, scenery. This time, you don't have a lot of trees uh, on the first line of sight. It's all open fields. Yes. If you know what they grow here in North Dakota, I'm guessing corn, but it's not grown. It's just bare right now. We don't know, but if you know, please let us know in the comments. Yes. I'm really curious to, to know. Something we experienced in this train that we haven't experienced in the previous two is we have seen some wildlife. Uh, we saw several deer yesterday. We were very excited about that. Yeah, I was commenting <laughs> for some reason on the other routes, we hadn't seen any either wildlife or cattle or even dogs or cats, anything. I don't know why, only like a few birds. It's spring, it's not winter. So I was expecting more Me wildlife. Me on this route, we've seen the deer, the dogs, the geese. It's been uh, more varied that way. Yes. We also, for the first time, I think, we made uh, a couple of friends oh, yes. on board on a, on a trip. Rocky it's our first time uh, yes. making friends, which was really nice. We had dinner with them last night and uh, they've been really nice to us. We've had great conversations and it's a great experience, like getting to know new people on the road. Well, hopefully that uh, continues going forward. Yeah, that will be lovely. Uh, we're going to approach the station. I, I know we're going to be here for a while, but just in case, we don't want to get It's a little bit behind. cold. It's a little bit colder than I expected. I actu I'm actually wearing shorts because I was expecting it to be a little hotter, but a little warmer. But yeah, let's go back to the train. Let's go. And we're about to enter the much expected sightseer car. So John, what do you think? I love it. The views are beautiful. You have 
a lot of windows. They're big. They're bigger than the ones in the roomettes and the bedrooms. And you also have the windows on the ceiling, which are great. It's raining a little bit and it's cloudy, but we really like this type of weather, so we're happy. Also, the seats are very comfortable and you can spend a lot of time here. As you can see, it's raining, so you could say our observation deck day is ruined, but we have a trick up our sleeves and it is that we love rainy weather. We absolutely are loving this cloudy, overcast, rainy day. When you're in their observation deck, you have tables like this ones where you can eat something or have a snack or these seats. I was ready and very excited for my shower. I turned the faucet and the water was extremely cold. There was no hot water and I couldn't do it. I mean, it was, that cold was on another level. So I came back to our roommate and I'm finishing my book. At dinner, we met a lovely mother-son couple and they told us that Whitefish, this station behind me, is your quintessential train station. That when you imagine a train station, this comes to mind. So we had to get out of the train and see it for ourselves. It's beautiful. It's 10, 13 p.m. We would usually be asleep by now, um, but we stayed up to see this station. Uh, I wanted to mention, bring attention to the dining, dining car situation. I believe Amtrak needs one in every train because on this train we've met three lovely couples, uh, in this case a mother-son, Michael and Patricia. Patricia is turning 83 this month and Michael is not a day over 45. It has allowed us to get to know new people on this trip that on other trains without a dining car we did not really talk to anyone in the dining car since in lunch at dinner you get seated with other people if you're only a couple or you're a solo traveler it really allows you to get to know new people and i think that is in has been an important part of this trip for us so if amtrak could have the dining car in all trains we would really appreciate it Now it's time to set up our beds. Good night. miles later and 102 hours on board the sleeper trains we finally made it to Seattle the home of one of my favorite TV shows Frasier click on this video to see how this journey started in the meantime we're going to enjoy one of the most authentic restaurants in Seattle <laughs> 